When Bitcoin launched in 2009, there was nothing else like it. Many other cryptocurrencies, or altcoins, have been created since then, and roughly 2,000 altcoins exist today. Some altcoins look a lot like Bitcoin. Others try to offer novel blockchain innovations, or faster transactions, or even different ways to manage their money supplies. Altcoins can be created by forking the Bitcoin code, which is kind of like copying and tweaking it, or they can be new creations altogether. Let's take a look at the market for cryptocurrencies. Estimates of the size of the global cryptocurrency market fluctuate daily, but it often tops hundreds of billions of dollars. Today, it is worth around $200 billion. Bitcoin is the most popular by far. With a market capitalization of around $110 billion, it accounts for around half of the market. Ethereum is the second most valuable cryptocurrency project, with a total value of roughly $20 billion, or a little over 10% of the market. Ethereum is an open source platform dedicated to running smart contracts. You can think of a smart contract as a self-executing digital agreement. A smart contract can be as simple as a time transaction. Some people think smart contracts can give rise to autonomous online organizations. Experiments in both concepts have been executed to various degrees of success on the Ethereum network. The execution of smart contracts requires computational resources that must be paid for in some way. This is where Ethereum's native currency, Ether, comes in. Ether can be thought of as a crypto fuel that allows smart contracts to run. XRP is the third most popular cryptocurrency. With a market capitalization of $18 billion, it accounts for nearly 9% of the market. XRP was launched by a US-based technology company called Ripple Labs, and it is used by companies like Unicredit, UBS, and Santander to reconcile bank balances. Due to network effects, the market is dominated by a few top performers. No cryptocurrency outside of a top three holds more than 5% of the market at present, but it is a competitive market, and upstart cryptocurrencies boast unique features to attract users. Some altcoins aim to gain market share by providing users with a greater degree of anonymity. These are called privacy coins. With Bitcoin, all transactions are included on a public ledger that anyone might view. Privacy coins like Monero and Zcash go beyond Bitcoin's public address technology to conceal transaction data. Both coins use blockchains to verify and record transactions, but they conceal identities using different technical tricks. Monero boosts financial privacy by mixing transactions with others. This means that no outside observer can identify the source, amount, or destination of the Monero transferred. The market capitalization of Monero is nearly $2 billion at present. Zcash approaches privacy in a different way, using a special technique called a zero-knowledge proof. This hides the relevant addresses and amounts, while still allowing a user to prove payment for auditing. At present, the market capitalization of Zcash is around $700 million. Some users are reluctant to transact with Bitcoin because of its price volatility. With the dollar value of Bitcoin constantly changing, it's difficult to figure out how much to pay or to charge, and it can be risky to write long-term contracts. By tying their value to the dollar, stable coins like Tether hope to overcome the volatility problem and capture market share in the process. The price of Tether has averaged 99.94 cents since February 2015, so it's pretty close to a dollar and it has been within one cent of its dollar target around 86% of the time. Nonetheless, some fear that Tether will be unable to maintain the stability. Also, relying on an issuer to manage the supply of coins in circulation requires a layer of trust that other cryptocurrencies do not. For this reason, some have recommended regular and thorough auditing of stablecoins to prevent fraudulent practices. But Tether and others have been reluctant to submit to such audits to date. Perhaps as a result, they have gained little market share. Tether holds less than 1% of the cryptocurrency market at present. When compared to the global financial market, cryptocurrency shares may seem tiny. Bitcoin alone constitutes a mere 1.3% of the world's 7.6 trillion in all global coins and banknotes. Throw in all known cryptocurrencies and it jumps to around 3%. That's not a huge market globally considered. But when the inertia of cryptocurrency is considered, the growth of these experimental monies is actually quite impressive. Bitcoin started out as a tiny project that some hundred or so people knew about. It was a really big deal the first day that Bitcoin was worth a single dollar. In that context, the fact that there is an entire new global industry boasting hundreds of billions of dollars in value and trading 
is actually incredible. More and more talented developers and entrepreneurs are drawn by the promise of cryptocurrency to apply their talents towards building out this promising ecosystem for monetary liberty. Retail and institutional interest in cryptocurrency and blockchain also grows each year. The popular payment firm Square extended Bitcoin support to all 50 states in 2018, greatly expanding access to the crypto economy. Wall Street, too, is showing interest. The New York Stock Exchange recently announced it was opening a Bitcoin trading market called BACT. A lot can go wrong, and not all cryptocurrencies will stand the test of time. But the core value proposition that Bitcoin made possible, a censorship-resistant currency that is only controlled by the user, is valuable for liberty indeed. Maybe one day we'll all use cryptocurrency.